So let's spill the tea. Hey guys, what's up? I am back and better than ever. Yeah, so today I am going to finally be doing my conspiracy theory video and I'm so excited to do this because I've been waiting to do this for so long and I'm just, I'm just so excited to share this crazy part of my mind with all of you sane people and I hopefully can turn you crazy by the end of this video. So without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm gonna be touching on maybe two or three different topics, but I'm not gonna go too in depth about the first two, mainly this last one I really wanna focus on because it leads into my personal conspiracy theory that I came up with. And I kinda wanna focus more time explaining that because it's a little bit confusing, but at the same time it's not. You just stick with me here. So the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is the idea that the government is watching us. They have and always probably will be. To give you a little fact behind this theory before you start to actually think I'm insane, there was a secret government program called PRISM where they worked with the NSA to basically keep tabs on the US citizens. There is public record that the PRISM program requested data from Apple, Microsoft, and Google about phone records, text messages, um, online histories of basically every person that owns a device of theirs. <laughs> they wanted to have all of your phone records and text messages for what? Actually, just in 2017, there were 78,898 requests for personal information in 2017 alone. Does that not spark anyone's interest? Now, a lot of people recently have been kind of honing in on the idea that yes, they are watching us. They've been looking more into all these camera theories about Apple and things. It's kind of freaky because a lot of people think that the government is just watching you through your camera. There is so, so much going on with that. And I'm not gonna get too much into it because it's just, it's a lot of going Going on over there. The next thing I'm going to talk about is mind control. In the 60s when all these programs had just started to take off, they were actually doing LSD testing to test out mind control. So basically the government believed that other countries were advancing in mind control weapons. When the US government heard about these alleged mind control devices that these other countries were working on, like they kind of took it into their own hands to start doing their own testing and who else to test on but their own citizens. Project MK Ultra's main focus was around universities, like yes, college campuses, prisons, hospitals, and especially these mental hospitals were targeted the most. Even addicts and terminal cancer patients. Basically, the government wanted to test out how vulnerable and controllable people would be under the influence of these hallucinogenic drugs. Hi, editing me here. I'm so sorry that I keep looking down. I'm looking at my notepad. I had it set up just in case I had to relook at any of my um, handy dandy notes. <laughs> no one really knows further past that what actually happened after, if their research worked, if it's, I don't know. For all we know, we are all being controlled right now. Who knows? So basically, we have touched the surface of my craziness, and now it's time to really dive really really deep in there and i really wanted to make the first two quick because this might actually take me a while to explain because it's kind of crazy for anything that i'm going to say beyond this point to make sense i'm gonna have to give you a little background into what exactly the theory of a parallel universe is well there's multiple theories actually <laughs> but the main theory that i believe is that there is a parallel universe for every possible outcome that could happen in any situation like let's say you're at a coffee shop and you're trying to decide whether you want to get a frappuccino or a latte simple right let's say you choose to get the frappuccino there's another universe where you actually chose to get the latte 
it's as simple as that given that there's multiple 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 parallel universes because we've been on this earth for so long we've had to make so many decisions in our life of course there's gonna be multiverses and today we actually see a lot of media portraying the idea of parallel universes like it's a normal thing which is kind of crazy if you think about it especially in which shows and like movies we see it in for all my nerds out there just think about pokemon pokemon the game to be specific the idea is the entire game itself from the beginning from the very first pokemon game it has been a split of two universes and if you want to learn more about the whole pokemon parallel universe thing i will link game theories video in the description it was such a great video honestly i was sitting there shook so keep that idea of parallel universes in mind and now i'm going to tell you a quick little uh factual story in 1954 tokyo at the airport a man got off the plane he was going through customs and they stopped him while he was going through customs because they took a look at his passport and it said he came from a country called torrid which it doesn't exist they just simply thought that his passport was fake and that they didn't understand how he had even got here in the first place if they had checked his passport before but nonetheless they detained him and they put him in a hotel on a higher up floor and they had people guarding the hotel so that he couldn't go anywhere, he couldn't escape because they didn't know what he was here for. And the weirdest thing about it is that on his passport he had stamps from a whole bunch of other countries, at least 10 of them, including Tokyo. So he had been there before, this is not the first time that he had been through customs in Tokyo. But still, the question that kind of stayed in everyone's mind is where did this person get this passport and what country is torrid? The man had told them that the country was in between France and Spain. He said that torrid was one of the first legit European countries. He said that he even had proof that he was coming to stay here. He said he was working for some company and he had actual documents with him in his bag. He had actual documents with him to prove that he was with this company, all these documents of him going here on business and all these other things he had reservations for a hotel that was not far from the company he was going to visit so basically yeah they put him up in this hotel and they were just trying to figure out where he came from who he was because they didn't believe that he was actually who he was they later on actually called the company that he said he worked for and they said they had no record of him whatsoever and they had no idea who this man was and the next day they went to go ask him questions in the hotel room and they saw that he had mysteriously disappeared and it's not like he could have went anywhere anywhere there was no fire escape there was no way he could even open the windows and it was no way he could have even gotten out the front door without people seeing him because they actually had guards at the door and downstairs just to make sure that he wasn't going anywhere because they can't just let a random person roam around the country so the theory is that the torrid man was actually from a country called torrid but that country specifically had existed in another parallel universe where there was a country named torrid in between France and Spain. And this is a true story. You can look it up, do whatever. There's actual pictures of his passport. I can put one here on the screen if you want. Um, it was actually a real thing. This was a real problem and people were actually genuinely confused for so long about how this man just magically disappeared out of thin air before we even got to question him about anything. So yes, there probably is a country named Torrid, just not in the universe that we all see here. And that just goes for me to say, anything that could have happened already exists in another universe. And it does sound crazy, but it kind of makes sense, especially when you think of situations like this. And this isn't the only really weird, confusing situation that has happened. There's plentiful more, and I'm not gonna go de in detail about that because I have to go in detail about other things. Now that I've explained that theory, I'm going to get into something that kind of ties into my theory. Basically, it's gonna, it's gonna start to get a little crazy and super confusing because I'm gonna bring up two theories at once. The world is flat, and the Antarctic theory is what we're really gonna be talking about. The Earth being 
being flat has been a theory that has been around for centuries and a lot of people just literally think people that think the world is flat are batshit crazy and need to be enlisted in a mental institution. But skirt, I think you're wrong here, sweetheart. And guess what? I have facts to back this one up too. I'm back. I decided that I was not going to include me actually trying to somehow magically explain why I believe that maybe the world isn't its round shape that everyone claims it to be. So if you want that video, um, comment down below and I'll be happy to do a full video on why I believe that the world isn't entirely round. But by the end of the video, I think you'll get the gist. Of it. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do something funny in this video because it's kind of serious. So, I <laughs> okay, let's get back. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is 11:30. I love that for me. I love it. I'm just gonna leave you with the thought of the flat Earth theory while we talk about this. If you ever decide to travel the world and see different places, and you're just so happen to be like, hey, I wanna go to Antarctica, you can't. Did you know that? You didn't. Wow. You can't go there. So a lot of people don't know, mainly because um, a lot of people don't bother to travel to cold ass places in the world unless they're crazy or just wanna go on an expedition for some odd reason. You're not allowed to go to Antarctica past a certain point and you can't even go there without special personnel being with you, like guiding you through the places that you can go. And then they're like, okay, that's it. We can't go beyond this point. We're going back. That's basically it. And it kind of sounds weird that you're restricted from a certain part of this country. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't sound right, doesn't it? I know I'm not the only one that thinks that it doesn't sound right, that I'm restricted from a certain part of this entire country and it's not like you can explore a lot of Antarctica like it's it's a very large part that you're just not allowed to go beyond oh go back and a lot of people think that because in the flat earth map Antarctica basically is not just one part at the bottom of the globe no Antarctica surrounds the entire flat earth Whoa, <laughs> we're getting there. So keeping in mind the idea of parallel universes and the idea that the world is flat and the Antarctica theory, this is where my theory comes in. So let's just say we are on this flat plane where Antarctica completely surrounds us, given what is shown to us on the flat earth map of what the earth would look like if it was flat. Antarctica basically would be completely surrounding the globe as it is. Well, the plane, because it's flat. <laughs> and because the government, like it's an actual law that you're not allowed to go beyond a certain point in Ar Antarctica and you're not allowed to even explore there without supervision from government personnel. It's for things like crazy girls. <laughs> Put on your seatbelts and sip your tea. <laughs> My theory is that there is another world on the other side of the flat earth because what else would be there just dirt and just nothingness like no I think that there is another universe on the other side of the world what if it's just another world like what if that's why Antarctica has all these restrictions because they don't want you to go beyond that point because if you do go beyond that point you'll be on the other side of the earth and you'll be in the world, the earth's multiverse. I, I, I kind of believe it. I kind of believe it because why else would we be restricted from going beyond a certain point in a country? Comment down below if you want me to go to Antarctica, JK. <laughs> yeah, the government's watching us. They're probably still drugging us to this day. Antarctica is just a barrier between us and the other side of the world. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I feel like I didn't explain anything well. If I didn't explain something well, please do let me know in the comments so I can um, help you further understand my crazy. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and I hope you guys enjoyed my conspiracy theories because I enjoyed it. Oh my God, yay! Comment down below. Like, comment, and subscribe and share this with everyone you know, especially the people that love conspiracy theories or hate them and hopefully I can change their mind into believing that the earth is flat and Antarctica is just the barrier to hide the other side of the world. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna go to I'm not even gonna put my leg up because it hurts, so bye.